call it joint replacement take two. While the vast majority of implant surgeries are successful, about 10% of patients will need another surgery to revise or replace the joint a second time. Hip and knee replacement is one of the most popular procedures in the country. With more and more people having them, more and more patients are having problems with them. There are several reasons for revision. Some require immediate attention. That includes an infection around the new joint. Sometimes the infection itself is very difficult to eradicate and as a result, you need to remove the implant. Serious complications, including infection, occur in less than 2% of cases. Another reason for replacing an artificial joint is to correct a bone break around the joint, called a periprosthetic fracture. Patients can develop what's called stress fractures around implants, and typically that's because it's, a, it's an area of high stress. That's more of a problem with people that have osteoporotic bone. The most common reason for revision is loosening of the joint. It's frequently related to wear and tear or obesity, both putting added stress on the joint. Surgery is an option when patients experience pain or deformity. Even then, doctors try to avoid completely replacing the artificial joint. Sometimes uh, you can do a minor surgery, such as changing out a plastic spacer, which is a much quicker and easier recovery as opposed to taking the whole implant out and starting from scratch. As increasing numbers of young patients undergo joint replacement and seniors continue to live longer, a growing segment of people will outlast their implants. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.